isn't it a isn't the whole spiritual process is individual hmm. rather than a community process then why we have to be part of a sect i never understood this well it is it is definitely a individual process but hmm. individual need community support see it is how is it that why? we are he so, might need okay. he might need a guru right but why he need a community support i'll explain that see i will say all of us we we are by nature social beings mm -hmm. and we are affected by the people around us mm -hmm. so if you consider the famous metaphor that is in the upanishads the river reaching the ocean right mm -hmm. so we can if there is a trickle small trickle of water on top of the himalayas mm -hmm. and that is to go down to the ocean mm -hmm. the chances of it reaching down is very rare very low mm -hmm. but if that trickle comes together with another trickle and these trickles come together and they make a tributary mm -hmm. and these tributaries come together and they make a river mm -hmm. and in the river flows toward the ocean the chances of that river reaching the ocean are much higher and as the river keeps moving toward the ocean it makes a bed for itself hmm and that bed helps the river to move faster so similarly we could say that people who are spiritually inclined their spiritual inspiration is like a trickle now there are some people who are who are saints who are very spiritually empowered and you could say they themselves are like a spring or a small tributary or a small current small but powerful current within a river mm -hmm. but basically there are when number of people who are spiritually minded they come together then their trickles become like a river and then it flows toward the ocean of god of the ultimate reality and as this river starts flowing as the number of people come together they support each other they inspire each other yes we need a we need a guru to know where is the ocean so that we can go there mm -hmm. but we also need sangha sangha is a very sangha is association sangat sanjayate kamah the bhagavata says that sangha is in association our desires grow without association our desires stay as they are this principle applies to material life it applies to spiritual life also mm -hmm. so now when our desire when we come together as the river forms a bed so similarly uh, when number of people come together they form they provide certain facilities for themselves to move forward on that journey and that those facilities are like the bed mm -hmm. the river bed so what we sometimes call as a sect or a group or organization mm -hmm. that is nothing but a group of spiritually minded people coming together and creating some resources for their spiritual journey now what happens unfortunately is whenever there is a Uh, a river which is rich with water there are people with ulterior motives who will come and they will build a dam over there and they will either divert the water or prevent it from reaching the ocean mm -hmm. so similarly whenever there is a group formed and especially the group becomes somewhat influential then there are people who are not spiritually minded they come there and they try to capitalize on it they try to come to that group for power for prestige for ulterior motives mm -hmm. and then things become diverted so we so it is a, the word sect is a negative word but we could say it's a community it's a sangha it's a sampradaya those are traditional words mm -hmm. so that kind of grouping it simply inspires each other to move forward spiritually so just a simple example over here what i mentioned so we can see this that we often think of our desires as linear mm -hmm. here is a person and there is a desirable object over here right so you know if i desire to if i see a phone i buy a phone mm -hmm. if i see a bhagavad gita if i want to read the bhagavad gita i have the desire for it mm -hmm. so this is the normal way we think of desires mm -hmm. but one of the fundamental spiritual understandings is desires are not just linear they are also triangular triangular means that we whenever we see a desirable object we may get some desire for it but if we see somebody else desiring that object mm -hmm. it could be a tempting object it could be just a desiring object whatever it is mm -hmm. so whenever we see somebody else desiring that object 
then the desire becomes more this is why companies don't just show products they show products with some attractive models some vips who endorse that product so same way for us when we want to study the bhagavad gita when we want to grow spiritually if we have other people who are also spiritually interested that will strengthen and reinforce our desire so that's why a group a sangha is vital for spiritual growth okay 